No changes, field of 10, three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings lining up for tonight's sixth race. The first major stake for the three-year-old pacer division of the young racing season, the $260,000 Barry's Creek final start of the pick four. Race six, here they come. At the Rob, card holder with some early speed on the outside. Extreme outside driven to win. And there goes Four Stars King protecting real position with Brandon's Cowboy. And Lachance and Four Stars King are gunning out and cutting the corner there. Card holder up on the outside. Brandon's Cowboy stride for stride with him. Yankees in seven is fourth. Driven to win. Parked out fifth on the outside. Wrestled back a bit there. Western Prince is sixth as they head to the quarter. Wind Age Hanover seventh. On the outside, Spirit of a Shark gets underway from eighth. Then it's two lengths to Georgia Pacific, followed by 19th hole opening quarter card holder reaching up 27 and 1 it will be card holder an early grind from Ron Pearson card holder to take charge and four stars king now in the second spot up on the outside Dubay looking to make a key move here with Brandon's cowboy but Lachance will not be left in the two hole and he vacates the rail with four stars king and looks to retake command on card holder Brandon's cowboy is out and he is now committed to the outside as towards the inside Yankees in seven moves up fourth into the flow driven to win is now second over fifth working out a good trip there spirit of a shark third over six shuffled back was western prince and then it's georgia pacific from a long way back from the back of the pack 19th hole wind age hanover trails and brendan's cowboy cleared on the turn took the lead away from four stars king who's under urging leaving driven to win first over there off a half of 54 three the racing by three quarters there is an inquiry now hit brendan's cowboy driven to win left first over and brendan has pace with spirit of a shark he swings three wide four stars king trying to fight back on the inside 122 and two into the stretch of the Barry Creek final and Dubé works on Brendan's Cowboy leading it by two looks vulnerable here Brendan's Cowboy still on top four stars King looks to shake loose taking a shot at him there spirit of a shark and here comes Georgia Pacific and now out of the pocket four stars King bottom line four stars King oh very tight Brendan's Cowboy four stars King they hit the wire together photo finish in the Barry Creek 151 judges inquiry Inquiry does not affect the order of finish. Two Brandon's Cowboy, a three-year-old Bay son from the first crop of the Panderosa out of Angel Be Good by Abercrombie. Owned by the Gala Blue Chip Connections campaign by the Gala Blue Chip Connections. Martin Scharf of Lawrence, New York. Trainer Mark Ford. Driver Danielle Dubay. The Robert J. Suslow Series sweeper. Off to a great start this year. Five straight victories at the Big M. Elimination winner, 150 and four-fifths. Final time tonight, 151 for Brandon's Cowboy, originally a $55,000 Tattersalls yearling. He was uh, purchased just a week before the Breeders' Crown Final, in which he finished third as a two year old and basically trained right through the winter. A big, heavy cold as a two year old, lightly raised, trimmed down, and came back like gangbusters here to assert himself at the top shelf winning the first major stake of the season here for Mark Ford Martin Sharp and Daniel Dubay the cowboy holds off the king in a dramatic photo finish here in the Berries Creek in just a few moments we'll get winner circle reaction Mr. Tad Stockman director of racing here at the Meadowlands makes the trophy presentation That's the first Berry's Creek victory for the Connections. We're here in the Berry's Creek Winter Circle, the 15th edition. Dan Dubay and Mark Ford. Dan, first, on the backstretch here, Four Stars King had the lead. Card holder came after him. Clear to the lead. You're sitting third. What happened there? Yeah, when I see the seven uh, clear to the lead, I tried to retake, and uh, Mike come at the same time. And after that, uh, I follow him, and he let me go. And he was big, you know. I clear, and uh, he Good. Yeah, at the three-quarter pole, it looked like you tried to steal away a little bit. Yeah, I just let him face, and uh, that's the right thing to do. Last eight, they were narrowing in there. Spirit of a Shark was closing, the eight was closing, Four Stars King was coming. Tell us about the last 50 yards here. Uh, you know what, I just drive my water on one. <laughs> uh, last 50 yards, you know. That one, I knew he's coming back at the end, you know. He's coming closer. Yeah, Dan DeBay, congratulations. Mark Ford, on May 8th of 2000, 
was Gallo blue chip as good as Brandon's Cowboy is now? Well, Gallo, we had uh, some trouble with before the very streak. We made a, a couple breaks there. But uh, I, this pulls up, I think it's a little farther along, but uh, you know, it's, it's way too early to compare anybody to Gallo blue chip. Tell us a little bit about uh, Brandon's Cowboy. You never really let him down during the winter. You kept him in training, right? Well, Chris Marino trained him as a two-year-old, and he really wasn't uh, raced a whole lot. He'd come, home, he'd come up for sale late last fall, and, you know, really you know, didn't have much experience, and really uh, big, heavy, good-looking colt, and we just kept him going all winter. Pete Foley did a remarkable job in uh, Lexington. We sent him down there all winter, and uh, I'm just, uh, you know, so far so good, and we'll see, see how things go. Your first Berries Creek, you uh, the favor of the race. What about the schedule for Brandon's Cowboy? What does it look like? Well, we'll just have to sit down in the morning or Monday and sort of think things over. But he's we've got a few options. He can go to Hoosier Park, I think it's two weeks from tonight, or he could go to Hazel Park, I mean to uh, Windsor, rather, the Provincial Cup. But uh, you know, there's a lot more good pulls qualified yesterday and uh, today and for sure next week. So, you know, so far so good, but uh, there's a lot more out there. If I mention modern art, I am a fool in Metropolitan. Can I throw Brandon's Cowboys name in there, too? Well, it's awful early. We might be a couple weeks ahead of them right now, but they were awful nice Colts, and, you know, like, the best is uh, yet to come. So, you know, he was uh, the best tonight, but, you know, there's a lot more out there, and uh, I'm just going to play it week to week and hope we can get a little money back. He's paid for now, so I guess the rest of us downhill. So. Okay, congratulations to Mark Ford, Dan DeBay, Martin Sharp Connections. They won the Berries Creek Final with Brandon's Cowboys.